You don't have any elastic curve to draw, tangent line to draw, special equation to draw. With the entry of COVID, all schools and review centers were forced to stop their physical operation. All shifted to online. Different centers use different advertising tricks and gimmicks that cause more confusion in the minds of reviewers and students rather than help them. But in order to give you clear idea on what you will actually experience in our online review, we created this channel so that you will see, know, and experience firsthand how we do it online. But before we begin our discussion today, please don't forget to visit, like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. The link is found below. Please also subscribe in our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click the notification bell. Choose all so that you will always be updated and notified regarding all our posts. Also, please don't hesitate and we will appreciate it if you will like every post that we will make. This is for all of you who are reviewing and students of math, science, and engineering, most especially civil engineering. So if you have problems or questions or topics that you want us to discuss, just send it to us through our contact numbers below. So let's begin. Now another convenient method in finding deflection and rotation is using the unit load method. You don't have any elastic curve to draw, tangent line to draw, special equation to draw. Just one equation both for rotation and deflection. It is the delta y that is vertical deflection and delta x that is horizontal deflection or theta is equal to the summation of integral of mm dx over ei. m is the moment equation due to the actual load. Small m is the moment equation due to the unit load. Okay? So, delta y is the result of the formula if the unit load is vertical load. Unit load meaning the magnitude is 1. If the unit load is horizontal, then the result is delta x. If the unit load is a one unit moment, then the result is theta. Let us solve this problem using unit load method. Let us find here yc and yb. Okay? Now, if we want the deflection at point C, then our unit load must be a unit vertical load applied at point C. So, this is our beam and this is our unit load. You get it? The actual loading, the unit loading. I repeat, this is our unit loading for Y at C or delta Y at point C. Meaning, Y load Y unit load applied at point C. Okay? Now, let me now apply this equation. Okay? So, the moment equation due to the actual load, I will use C as the origin, meaning this is X is 0. From here to here, X is measured from the left, C, going to this. This is A. So, this is x at A is going to be equal to 4 meters. So, this is my origin. Okay? So, for the actual beam, I just have one segment because there is only one change of load that is 30. So, that is from C to A. So, let me plot it. This is segment C to A. Its initial point is XA, X initial, that is X 
at C is equal to 0. And our x final, that is x final, is x at A, which is, which is 4. Okay? Now, the moment equation is going to be, what is your moment equation? That would be minus 30 times x. Any section will represent from C to A. So this is your x. So your moment equation there is minus 30 times x. Due to the uniform load, it would be minus 10 times x squared over over 2. Now, due to the unit moment or unit load, the moment equation here is going to be this is x minus 1 times x or simply minus x, right? So, we now integrate, we get the integral of mm dx over ei, ei being 10 to the 6, with limits from x initial to x final. So, let us do it. So, I have here, so it would be integral from 0 to 4 of minus 30, open parenthesis, minus 30 alpha x minus 10 over 2, 5 alpha x squared, close parenthesis, times, open parenthesis, minus alpha x, close parenthesis, then dx over ei, no? or that would be over 10 to the 6, this is from 0 to 4, okay? And this would be equal to fraction to decimal 9.6 times 10 to the minus 4. And this is meter. This one is your deflection at point C. You follow? It's a simple thing. What about... If we will solve y at b. When it comes to y at b, then you will have the loading must be at point b. So, for y at b, you must have a unit y load applied at point b. This time, there is a change of load at b. So, the segments must be from c to b, then B to A. You get it? So, there will now be two segments. So, plotting it for Y at B, this is your segment, C to B, and also we have B to A. Your initial point X, O, at C, X is 0. This is x final at x final at b x is 1 from here to here is 1 meter then at b x is 1 then at a x is 4 okay so let us now write here the moment equation the big m the big m from c to b the section is here this is your x so, here, this is your x. The moment equation here is minus 30 times x minus 10x squared over 2, right? So, minus 30 times x minus 10x squared over 2. But due to the unit loading here, from here to here, there is no load. So, the moment here is 0. So, therefore, when we integrate this, integral of mm dx over ei from 0 to 1, it would be, what? 
from x initial to x final, this will be 0 because this is times 0. You follow? Okay. Now, in here, due to the, to the section here, and this is now your x. If this is x, this is 1 meter, this must be x minus 1. So the moment here is simply minus 30x minus 10x squared over 2. Same thing. So minus 30x minus 10x squared over 2. And the moment here is going to be minus 1 times x minus 1. Minus 1 times x minus 1. Do you follow? Okay. This is from x is 1 to x is 4. So this is already 0. What about this one? So it would be integral of open parenthesis minus 30 alpha x minus 10 over 2 5 alpha x squared then close parenthesis times open parenthesis minus of open parenthesis alpha x minus 1 close parenthesis close parenthesis okay dx that is divided by 1 exponent 6 okay from 1 to 4 1 2 4 equals so this is going to be 6.1875 times 10 to the minus 4 and this is meter so you add them the sum of integrals summation of integral of mm dx over ei this one is going to be our y at b the result is y at b because our unit load is a unit y load applied at point b and we have here positive 6.1875 times 10 to the minus 4 meter the positive sign is an indicator that our deflection at b is downward so if it is positive meaning it is in the same direction as the applied unit load so as you can see, unit load method will be easy, simple, because there is no elastic curve to be drawn. There is no complicated geometry to be used, only integration. You follow? Okay.